Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, if Dr. Marcel didn't know that we've managed to escape from our cell, he'll surely know when he comes back in and sees all the little additions that we've made to his office. But hey, at least these items are now worth a lot more, because Edna truly is an artiste without comparison. We could just leave whenever we like by walking to the door, but before we do that, we got a new inventory object, the Encyclopedia. We can use items on the Encyclopedia and get an accurate description of the word. And I'm curious if we can do that with the things in here. Let's try it on the desk. Desk, noun, one. A table, frame, or case, especially for writing and reading. Two, a place where you park your unfinished business. Okay, we can use it like that, and that is brilliant. Let's go round the room in an anti-clockwise fashion. Why anti-clockwise? Because we're a rebel, that's why! Time for the chair. Throne, noun, one. Parking space for royal or dignitary butts. Fair enough. What about the window? Tell me about freedom, Harvey. There are no back covers on books out there. All letters are free, and can do whatever they want. Wow, freedom sounds amazing. Let's see what the encyclopedia does when we use it on the cabinet. I didn't come here to tidy up. We can't put that in the cabinet. Fair enough. What about the diploma? There's a picture under the entry for graduate engineer in media technology. It shows an elephant. That's strange. That is rather puzzling. What about using this on the trophies? Whoops! This page is missing! Curious! What about on the article? Lie, hoax, invention, inaccuracy, fantasy, fabrication, fairy tale, falsehood, figment, sham. Do you get the idea that she doesn't think that article is true? I think she might think it's not true. Let's use it on the photo. I didn't come here to tidy up. Fair enough. What about putting it in the chimney? The encyclopedia might be tedious, but I generally don't burn books. Not without a lighter, anyway. Thanks for the clarification. Now, before we go in there, I'm curious about one thing. Can we go back to the room we were just in and use the items that we just got on the things in there? I know we spend a lot of effort trying to get out of the cell, but we can leave whenever we like. What's important is that we use the encyclopedia with the ventilator, and see if there is any dialogue here. I hope there is. Ventilate. Verb. Ventilated. Ventilating. 3. To cause fresh air to circulate, so as to replace foul air. Ventilator. Noun. A vent or outlet. Okay, that is amazing to see. The, uh, text there didn't all appear, but I'm still happy with the result. Let's scribble all over it. Too bad. The pen won't write on the blades. Alas, it truly is a sad day. Let us smash it, most verily. It's suffered enough already. Besides, there isn't enough room in here to swing properly. Fair enough, if we, couldn't, if we couldn't swing the remnants of a chair leg, we definitely can't swing a polo mallet. We could swing one in here, though. Oh, that we can. First, the encyclopedia. Upholstery, noun. Plural, upholsteries. One, materials, as fabrics, padding, and springs. Used to make soft covering, especially for a seat. Or a padded cell, obviously. Indeed. I'm going to save before I use the pen on this, because there is a chance that we may put the pen away. Though I get the feeling that the pen is important enough that we're not going to do that. If we end up doodling on these, I may end up doodling on all of them. Okay, pen. On pad. That didn't do anything. No, no, it did! Edna was here! Right, can we do that on every one of them? Oh, we can, and that is ridiculously glorious. 
Will it really let me write Edna was here on all of them? Yes, it will. This attention to detail is beautiful, and I love it. There are lots of these. And is it in a slightly different position on... It's in a slightly different position on each of these. Oh, that is just amazing. The attention to detail, just unrivaled by possibly any point-and-click adventure game I've ever played. Every single one of these uh, pads is slightly different. And so, we're getting slightly different placements for all of them. Can we doodle on the table? I hope we can doodle on the table. This thing is just going to be an implement of absolute mayhem. Though, to be fair, when we uh, destroyed the chair, we knew that mayhem was in our future. Okay, if Dr. Marcel didn't know that we had uh, broken out, there will be no keeping it secret when they go into here. But at least they'll know that Edna was here. It's pretty unequivocal. Right, let's try the polo mallet. Ha! Take that, you well-adjusted conformist padding! Aha! Let's try the encyclopedia on the table. Table, noun. A piece of furniture consisting of a flat top fixed on legs. Tablet, noun. A flat slab or plaque. Marvelous. Let us draw on it. Marvelous. We can write that Edna was here on that too. Let us smash it. Stupid table. What did the table ever do to you? Finally, at least for these things here, we're going to be interacting with Dora as well. Let's find out about the chair. Chair, noun, one. A seat with a back for one person. Two, electric chair. Three, an official seat of authority, state, or dignity. Let's try doodling on it, shall we? Edna was here. Marvelous! Good to know! Finally, Polo Mallet. I think it's had enough. Fair enough. Can we doodle on the door? We can! A smiley face has been put there. Marvelous. Can we put a smiley face on every screen? I bet we can. It's locked. What did you expect? Did I actually use the encyclopedia on that? I don't think I did. I don't think the door is in the mood for reading. It probably isn't. What about the polo mat on the door? Take that, you insufferable means of exclusion! That dialogue is from using the uh, remnants of Chairman Chairleg on the door. I miss Chairman Chairleg already. What about the encyclopedia on the grate? Great. Noun, one. Grating, two. A frame of iron bars for holding fuel while it burns. Grating, noun. A framework with parallel bars or crossbars. Yeah, that's the one. That is. Let's try and doodle on it. Hello? What do you want? I would totally love to get an autograph. You want my autograph? Well, I am a famous athlete after all. A rising star in the mini golf ranks. I've changed my mind. I don't want an autograph. Oh. Okay, that was funny. I like that. Can we hit this? It'll probably have the same um, dialogue as if we use the chair leg, though. Freedom! Freedom! What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. Yep, that's the same. Well, I think we've left this place in a much better condition than it was when we first started. I mean, this place is perfect for somebody else to be in. They'll know that Edna was here, if nothing else. Now let's go and do the thing that we really should have done a bit ago, which is try and go through the door. But there are just so many things that we can do. So many things. We're going to save before we go through the door, because I'm a little concerned about where, um, Holgor is. Holgor was 
pretty close by. Well, Holgor was in this room, so it stands to reason that Holgor is uh, probably in the vicinity of this area. So, let's go uh, through by just walking to the door and opening it. Yikes! Uh oh. Well, if it isn't Miss Edna, how did you manage to get out of your cell? Well, there's a lot of options here. But let's obviously be truthful here. My ragdoll rabbit temple morphed me to the past. That's where I learned to use my super toenails as a multi-tool. <laughs> You've always been very resourceful. It's a shame not much of that will be left. Once Dr. Marcel's therapy begins to work, come on now, I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! Well, we have a problem. You're going to try and get us back into that cell. I mean, admittedly, we have sort of trashed the place, but you'll eventually fix things up, and you might even cover up that ventilation grill. That's going to be a problem. Don't you want to know how I can escape? Sure! Fire away! Well, obviously, we're going to pick another option. I had help from the outside. <laughs> from whom, I might ask? Your dead father, maybe? My dad is dead? You might not remember everything, but this asylum is your home now. It has been for a long time. Come here. I'll put you safely back in your cell. Ha! Never! A father's dead? What do you know about him? What do you know about my father? Besides him being a murderer? Those are lies. I eavesdropped on you. Listen, sweetheart. Your father was a murderer. He admitted his guilt, and he was sentenced. That's all you need to know. So, Holgor here is pretty adamant that our father is a murderer. We're still not believing it, though the evidence is kind of mounting up against our protests of him being innocent. But there are more options that we can go through here on how we escaped, and I want to go through all of them. Don't you want to know how I can escape? Sure! Fire away! You really should have grabbed us by now. You're not a very competent guard here. I had to go to the bathroom and got lost. Oh, come to Ulgor and I'll show you the way. The way back to your cell. Ha! Never! You said it, Harvey. We are not going back. But there are still more ways we can blatantly lie to you. I mean, we did tell you the truth first time. You didn't really believe us, did you? Actually, you sort of did believe us. Also, that is not the face of somebody that's very friendly. Don't you want to know how I can escape? Sure! Fire away! Okay, this time, we're going to let loose the knowledge of our secret magical powers. I possess secret powers. One step closer and I'll turn you into a bulldog. Oh, yeah? Ooga! It worked! I didn't know I had it in me. Quit this nonsense and get over here already. I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! He hasn't moved back to the place he was in, though. Nice little bit of attention to detail there. Don't you want to know how I can escape? Sure! Fire away! Lastly, let's talk about the mini-golf guy. That mini-golf guy let me out. Babbit? He's getting less and less reliable. Dr. Marcel will be frothing at the mouth when he comes back from town. Be that as it may, you're coming with me now. I'll put you back in your cell. Ha! Never! So Marcel is not currently at the asylum. That's useful information. I want to talk to Dr. Marcel. At once. The doctor is out. You can talk to him as soon as he's back. Until then, you'll be put back in your cell. Never! As you wish. We might as well wait here. Even if it takes all day long, I've got plenty of time. That he does. So, we have to deal with Holgor. First thing we should obviously do is 
look at him. This is a cabinet. Oh no, wait. It's Holger, Dr. Marcel's assistant. I was a little concerned for a moment there that I'd accidentally clicked him in the wrong place. Let us try and pick up Holger. We'll have him in our inventory and we'll use him to solve puzzles. Even though he's quite compact, he isn't very transport friendly. Indeed not. All right. I need some ideas here, Harvey. If you don't step away from the door immediately, I'll set my attack rabbit on you. <laughs> sick, Harvey, sick! That did not work. Clearly, we must go to extreme measures. We must toenail Holgor. Hey! Stop that! Okay, that's funny. We can throw toenails at him. Let's throw another one at him. Is there more dialogue if we throw more than one? Hey! Stop that! Okay, there's only dialogue for doing it once. Let us see what happens after we get another toenail, of course. When we encyclopedia him. No, no, let's, uh, let's actually use the ballpoint pen. The encyclopedia might actually work if we throw it at him. The pen is supposed to be mightier than the sword, but these forearms look like the shock absorbers on a truck. Yeah, that's probably not going to work. Okay, encyclopedia time. Would you like to read something? Are you trying to make fun of me? I might not look like it, but I read a lot during my spare time. Oh, yeah? Like what? Tolstoy, Hemingway, Voltaire, Beatrix Potter. Ha! Now you've just given yourself away. Those are all just made-up names. Um, Edna? Never mind, there's no use persuading you otherwise. Okay, there is one thing that we can do here, and that is that we're going to... We could admittedly open up the cabinet and try and hide in it. Okay, that's probably not going to work. There is one thing that we can do. I have been avoiding it. Let's go at Holgor with the polo mallet. It's crazy enough that it just might work. It's probably going to work. Yep, that worked. He's out for the count. Let's look at him. Edna slay big animal. Ugh. I hope you didn't kill him. Huda champ, Huda champ. Edna. Say it louder. Edna. We were victorious. Now can we put him in our inventory? Actually, first, before we do that, we might end up moving him into the cabinet by doing so. Let's see what Harvey has to say about our victory. We'll be using that polo mallet a lot, I can see. A lot. What do you think, Harvey? Shall we put him above our mantelpiece? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'll get the wood shavings and you get the spoon. The spoon? Pen time. I gave him a mustache. You rebel, you. Encyclopedia? Knockout. Indeed. Polo mallet round two! Nah, he's had enough. I think he has. Toenail round three? I put a nod of toenail into his mouth. <laughs> Ugh, that's not a nice thing to wake up to. Let's see about picking him up. Yes, I should get rid of him. But where to put him? Ah, I know. The cabinet! Great idea. We should probably actually close the cabinet. I used to be scared of cabinets when I was a child. No dialogue for him being in there. But now, nobody will know that he is within there. Until he wakes up. We can go through his door now! Ooh. There's a roof hatch here, and there's a plant! Clearly, we must look at the plant. An exceptionally creepy buttercup. What's so creepy about it? Hello, little plant. Are you getting enough sunlight? Water. Water. Oh dear, I don't think the plant's doing so well. Harvey, see if you can solve the plant's predicament. What do you make of this, Harvey? Mmm, yummy! Veggies for supper! 
I thought you had strict dietary requirements of pure candy. I always eat whatever will cause the most damage. Which in your case seems to be candy. All right, toenail time. Best natural fertilizer you can get. We're gonna be able to use toenails on a lot of things, aren't we? Yes, yes we are. And that comment about how infeasible the supply of toenails we have is, is going to come into great effect soon enough. We can't write on the door. We could write on the plant. Why do that? It's a dyslexic hydrangea. We can't write on the plant, but we could encyclopedia it. Plant, Robert, second most hated front man in rock history. What? Even more hated than John Bon Jovi? Whoa! I do not know who you're referencing there, Edna. At all. But clearly, we must polo mallet this problem. Whoops. Help murder! Shh. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that we would destroy the plant by doing that. I didn't mean to do that. Liar! I'm with Harvey here. You totally meant to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's gonna believe that? Not me, that's for sure. Can we pick up the plant? Somebody else will take care of that. They probably will. Can we use it? Somebody else will take care of that. Clearly we need to smash this more with more use of Polo Mallet. I think I've done enough damage here. I shouldn't add insult to injury. At least not in written form. You have done enough damage here. What about using the toenail? I don't think my toenail fertilizer will do much good anymore. No, it won't. Pen? I think I've done enough damage here. I shouldn't add insult to injury. At least not in written form. Was that the same dialogue for the pen as the polo mallet, or did I accidentally use the pen instead of the polo mallet? Plant, Robert, second most hated front man. What? What? Okay, that dialogue is the same. I'm gonna double check that I didn't accidentally select the pen. I think I've done enough. I sh no, it is the same. Okay, we can now look at the column though. Maybe I needed to do that to look at the column? It's unlikely. I probably could have just looked at the column. This pedestal looks out of place without the plant. Can we talk to the pedestal? Sorry about the plant. If I were a Roman pilaster with an ornate capital, you wouldn't dare treat me like this. Indeed not. Also, we can't do anything with the door apart from go through it. So, we'll not do that. Not yet. I could look at a few yards, tops. Well, why don't you? Oh, we can move it there. Okay. Interesting. We can move it in front of the door. Very interesting. What do you think of this pedestal, Harvey? Cheesy. Fair enough. Clearly, we must smash it, but only after we've done everything else. I will not mutilate this pedestal. It shall stand tall as a symbol of utterly failed home decorating for all eternity. The only reason you won't disfigure it is because it's a movable sprite, am I right? Shh. Don't break the fourth wall, we've already done it once. Can we doodle on it? I will not mutilate the it shall- The only- Shh. No we can't, fair enough. Can we encyclopedia it? Mmm, yeah. Uh, but why? Good point. Why indeed. Let's look at this roof hatch. I can see approximately 10 gallons of sky. You measure the sky in gallons? I didn't know that. Use the skylight, Skywalker. I get what you're trying to reference, but I don't think that was at all anything close to what happened in the movie. I don't think, anyway. Take skylight? Are you trying to tell me something? Only someone a few watts short of a light bulb would try that, Edna. I mean, it's worked in stranger games. And games that are less strange, too. That's too high. I'm sure I can find a better exit. You probably can. But maybe Harvey has a way to open it. Look, Harvey. Freedom. Yippee! We're just inches away. We've already heard that one. Can we toenail it? It's too high. I can't reach it. Alas, if we had chairman chair leg, we could chairman chair leg it, but we can't. It's too high. I can't reach it. Oh, can we throw the book at it? 
quite literally. Tell me about freedom, Harvey. There are no all. We've already heard that one. But finally, Polo Mallet. It's too high. I can't reach it. Not even the Polo Mallet can get there. Truly, this is a sad day. And when we come back, folks, we're in this room. We can go into that room. More importantly, we can block that room. I hope this door opens outward and not inward. Otherwise, moving that's kind of pointless. It probably opens outward. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.